What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield of VGC 2021 uh, laddering episode, boost to the top, whatever we're going to call it. I'm not even going to call it boost to the top really, like it's it's what it's called but we don't even aim for like the top ladder, we just test out fun teams. But yeah, today I'm going to be using the circuitry team that I built on stream last Thursday. I go live every night at 5pm CST on Twitch so if you guys want to check me out there I'll be going live tonight and on Thursday is when I actually build around Pokemon that the viewers request, and this is one of them. I actually really like this team. It is a Grassy Seed Zerkatry team with Calm Mind, but before we get into that, do me a favor, if you enjoy this video at any point in time, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications, because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content, and answer my comment question of the day. What is your favorite Ultra Beast? I, I don't know why, I really love the Ultra Beasts that just kind of don't have faces. Like, I like Zerkatry, I like Blacephalon, and I really like Nihiligo. They just, the abstract ones I love. But yeah, getting into the team details, uh, it's actually a Colossal team, like a standard Colossal team with a Power of Celesteela and a Grassy Seed Zerka Tree. A very defensive one too. Full details on the team you can actually find in my Discord server, which is linked down below, along with the rental code and the Poke Paste. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. <clears throat> I don't know why, during the summer I get really congested and it makes it really hard to record videos. Because just like... Midway through the video, I'll be talking and all of a sudden my throat just gets congested and I'm like, oh, I have to edit out the clearing my throat part. Uh, yeah, yeah. What? Oh, okay. I was concerned. I was like, is this guy's rank 45,000? <laughs> I misread that. I was like, how do you do that? But this is interesting. Um, Dang, Zerkatry would actually go kind of crazy here if it weren't for the, uh, <laughs> the Volt Absorb Mon. I think I feel pretty comfortable going with a Dragapult. A Dragapult Colossal lead. Uh, and I'll actually bring the Celesteela in the back. Because I'm probably just going to immediately switch into it to burn the um, burn the turn of Dynamax that the Landers will likely go for on lead. And I think I have to bring Rillaboom. Uh, yeah, I don't really feel comfortable bringing the Zerga Tree to this game. It Like, Zerga Tree usually comes to games. It's not like just a mon I slapped on there. Uh, however, this game, it doesn't seem ideal. But yeah. No, I actually really like the Zergatry set. Uh, the Grassy Seed allows it to naturally tank a... Uh, well, not naturally, because it's at plus one. But it, le it lets it tank a Max Quake when it's Dynamaxed pretty well. And then you can just hit it back with, like, a plus one Max Starfall. Something like that. Like, just in general, it's a very bulky Zergatry. And it has enough bulk where it can just tank an Earthquake at plus one, even if Grassy Terrain isn't up. All right. <clears throat> Urshifu Sableye. Dang, I wish I let off Zerka Tree. Oh, I could have just de-gleamed right there. It would have been insane. It would have gone crazy, dude. All right. Uh, it's in my best interest to burn this Urshifu right now. So I'll go for that. And I will gladly switch in my Rillaboom. I guess my main concern would be, mm, I don't know, like a foul play onto my Dragapult wouldn't be great, or a Will-O-Wisp I wouldn't really mind, but it wouldn't be great. I really want to avoid getting this, uh, <laughs> getting this Rillaboom burn though, that's going to be huge. There's Rain Dan oh he was going for it, he was going for it right there, he wanted to KO me. There's my Will-O-Wisp, that's going to be huge. He probably just Surging Striked, but it's not going to do too much now. Uh, I definitely have to be careful with this Sableye. Yeah, it's going to do Bupkis. And I think here my play is actually going to be to... I think I'm going to get in my... Because he's going to Willow's the, the Rillaboom, for sure. There's no way you don't Willow's the Rillaboom. Urshavu isn't too much of an issue now. I think what I'm going to do is breaking swipe for damage and switch in the Celesteela. I don't want to get in Colossal because it just doesn't seem worth it with the rain up now. I might end up just Dynamaxing the Celesteela this game. It could go crazy. See, withdraw the Urshifu. Cool. 
They send in the Kartana. All right, yeah, and I get a breaking swipe here, so that's going to be great. Go ahead and drop these guys' attack stats. That did crazy damage on the Sableye. <laughs> As they go for the foul play. Into the Celesteela. Actually does... Wow, that did a lot. Uh, my play here is going to be to Meteor Beam the Sableye. To try to get a KO. And I'm going to Breaking Swipe once more. Actually, mm, Yeah, if I Breaking Swipe this Kartana, it's not KOing anything. And then it'll put the Sableye 100% in range of a Meteor Beam. At least I hope it will. <laughs> I don't really see Kartana being too threatening. As they switch it out. What's your last Mon? They just brought back in the Urshifu. I'm cool with that. Get that Breaking Swipe off. And let's see. I should outspeed a Sableye. Meteor Beam. So they were going to go for the Foul Play there. As I overflow with some space power, and I really hope I connect. I always miss these. Awesome. Goodbye, Sableye. Yeah, Meteor Beam is such a cool little move. It's such a cool little move to put on to something like Celesteela. As I get my Beast Boost, and I feel pretty comfortable just max air streaming this Urshifu and clicking Breaking Swipe next turn on that Kartana that's coming in. I don't care if the rain's up. If I'm Dynamaxed, I'm not taking much from this Urshifu. I could also Will-O-Wisp the Kartana. As they send in a Landorus, I am going to Will-O-Wisp you very hard. You are going to be Will-O-Wisped extremely hard. <laughs> I could also Breaking Swipe to play it safe, but uh, that's a little scary. I definitely have to Airstream the Urshifu, though. Mm, yeah, I'm going to Breaking Swipe. It's a little bit safer. I don't have to risk a miss, and I'm going to live any anything from this thing anyways. So I'll Airstream the Urshifu. The reason I want a Breaking Swipe is because we don't know the Landorus's item. For all we know, it's Lumberry, and then I just waste a turn. And Breaking Swipe being 100% accurate is a big, big reason I have to click it here. Support Dragapult actually is insane. I think that... Offensive Dragapult is like a really nice Pokemon. It was great in the earlier seasons, but I, I believe in support Dragapult supremacy at this point. You know, I 100% believe in the support Dragapult. You know, it is such a good Pokemon. <laughs> this guy that I'm running is like 244 HP, 12 defense, max, uh, max speed with uh, zero special attack IVs. Just to make sure I minimize the damage on the Colossal. And let me tell you, getting zero special attack IVs is such a pain. <laughs> it is such a pain. Alright, so I'm going to lower this guy's attack stat. As he's likely going to quake me, uh, but I can 100% take that on my drag. Alright. Celesteela, do your thing. There's the Breaking Swipe, lower that attack stat. Urshfu definitely went for the Surging Strikes and not an Aqua Jet. <laughs> okay, an Iron Head. Interesting. That's not going to do too much to Dragapult now. As they go for the Quake, they were doubling down on that Pult. They were like, I don't, I don't want this Pult to do anything. But no, no, the support Dragapult, it lives. It does not go down. You know what's going down though? That Urshfu is going down. That Urshfu is going down. And then I'm going to outspeed you and get the next hit. You should have airstreamed. Nice. Nice little KO there for Celesteela. As I get to my plus two. And I'm feeling pretty good about this game now. <laughs> I can just click Breaking Swipe and Max Airstream into that Kartana, and there isn't really much the Slanderers can do about it. Most Kartana are Assault Vests, so I doubt it lives this now. Also, it already took chip damage from the last Breaking Swipe. 
So I guess it wouldn't have mattered if it was Sash. Yeah, I guess their play would just be to, like, quake my Polt or something. Maybe go for a knockoff with Kartana. Does Kartana still get knockoff? No, that was a, uh... That was an event. Not an event. It was, um... What is it called? It was the Move Tutors in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Give me your Kartana. And I think it's safe to say this Landorus isn't going to be picking up a KO on my Celesteela anytime soon. I guess unless they, like, crit a max Rockfall, but even then I might just live. There's the Quake. Do I live this? I think I might. Ah, not quite. As they get up their special defense, and, um, I feel pretty good about this now. The rain has stopped. Not that it matters much. The grass disappeared from the battlefield, not that it mattered at all. The Rillaboom has entered the field. That one matters. Because <laughs> I don't think this guy's going to take a, uh, a grassy glide too well. Alright. Yeah, my play here is just going to be to grassy glide and uh, go for this max steel spike. Miracle Seed Rillaboom just does crazy damage, dude. And I outspeed. This is probably gonna KO. Oh, not quite. Not quite. I don't think it matters, though. As they go for the Airstream, they're just trying to take as many pieces as they can. I live that, though. <laughs> I live that. Yeah, Breaking Swipe Dragapult's insane. Man, you know, leave a like for the Breaking Sweat Dragapult. This is a Zerkatry team, but we have to actually just give Dragapult the, the credit it deserves here. It carried this game. It absolutely carried. I'm going to taunt for the meme. Flash Cannon. And that's game. Celesteela goes crazy. But I really want to use the Zerkatry. Last night I got a couple of practice games in-game. Like, I already use this team a lot on Showdown, and it does really well. But I tend to play worse on Cartridge, just because I, you know, I can't cancel moves. So last night I got a couple of practice games, just to make sure I'm not, you know, too rusty with this team. Uh, and it, it felt good. It felt good. Both of the wins were, like, heavily contributed to by Zerkatry. Also, my... <laughs> I have a lot of losses on my on my ladder this season. I've been doing a lot of team, uh, viewer team requests, or not requests, viewer team tryouts. So, like, viewers will send me their teams and I'll use them on stream. And I just can't use teams that aren't mine. I just can't. I don't play well. <laughs> I need to know, like, the ins and outs of the team. I need to be able to write, like, a five-page essay on it to use, right? So that's why our rating's kind of bad. All right. 803. Cool. Let's see. This. Now this. This can be a Zerkatry game. This can be a Zerkatry game. I just got to play it right. I'm going to lead off uh, Zerkatry Rillaboom. I'll be able to taunt the Indeedy and then go for like a wood hammer if I really want to. Because they usually just lead off Blastoise and Didi when I see this sort of thing. I definitely want to bring the Celesteela, and I think my last Mon... Dragapult doesn't look awful. It doesn't. Colossal also doesn't look bad. It's <sighs> Urshifu, Dragapult, Colossal. I think I'm probably going to get the most value. If they, if they set up a Trick Room, I probably get the most value out of... Um, Colossal, just because it can function there. You know, I'm not going to be going for the activation, but just having a fire type under Trick Room is 
somewhat nice. Also, Colossal is just generally scary. When you see it hit the field, people tend to tunnel vision, so I might be able to use that to my advantage. All right. Let's see what they're packing. I genuinely hope they just go in DD and the uh in DD um Blastoise. Okay, they went Incineroar Blastoise and that's actually not bad either. Just because I should be able to calm mind here. I don't know any Blastoise that would stay in the field in this position. I can't name a single Blastoise that would do that. So what I'm going to do is... And they're rank 800. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing if they're rank 800. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that they are going to switch out this Blastoise and fake out. So I'm going to try to Calm Mind and fake out their Incineroar. If they are just Scarf Water Spout, I'm going to be a little bit upset. <laughs> I'm going to be a little bit upset. I don't think the Blastoise stays in here. Hey, hey, there we go. There we go. As it's the Indeedee, they're going to prevent a fake out. They might just Flare Blitz my Rillaboom, but that's honestly whatever. As soon as I get this Calm Mind off, it's time. It's go time. I guess my main issue is I really don't want them to parting shot. I at the very least get a special defense boost from that though. As they parting shot into the Zerka tree, that's fine. That's fine. Because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to taunt the, uh, the Ndidi as though it were turn one. We're pretty much at a complete reset. We're at a complete reset, but I ended up with a net gain, I believe. There's the Blastoise. I want to say that they got a they got a shell smash here, so I'm gonna call mine again and I'm gonna taunt. And then on this next turn, I can actually just Dynamax and KO this Blastoise. You know you want a shell smash. Follow me. You know you want a shell smash. Follow me. If they Dynamax, I'm in I'm in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I'm playing kind of aggressively right now. Oh god. Oh no, I should have Dynamaxed. Okay, maybe I live this. I guess the only issue is if they helping hand. Maybe I outspeed. I'm 107, right? And I guess most Blastoise would also creep for 107. Oh no. Tell me I go first. Tell me I go first. Oh no. This is gonna do a lot. Maybe I'll live, but Zerkatry's not gonna do much this game if it does. Yeah, that sucked. That sucked. I should have Dynamaxed. They crit me too. I don't know how much that mattered since it's essentially a neutral hit. Hey, but now you can't do it again, huh? <laughs> God, I'm in trouble. I'm also not G-Max Rillaboom when I really should be. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to protect the Colossal and hope to get... <laughs> hope that I can live this hit without a light screen or something. And I'm going to get in the Celesteela. They can't helping hand it, right? So... Maybe at neutral I love this, and then I can revenge kill him with a uh, grassy terrain max overgrowth. But I don't know if I love this behind protect. It's a really strong move. Ah, 
I should have Dynamaxed there. I should have just Dynamaxed. See, withdraw. Send him the boy. If I survive this, it's not the end of the world. As they hailstorm. Very good play. Um... How do I do this? So I'd like to believe... I'd like to believe that here they would just geyser the... Uh, <laughs> here they would actually geyser the Colossal. But dang, that chip damage is really hitting me hard. Now they can't fake out because of the terrain. Dang. Okay. Yeah. So, oh no, they can fake out my Celesteela, so that would be an issue. I'm going to get in the Rillaboom, and I'm going to try to Meteor Beam, but it's likely not going to work. I think them taking my Zerka Tree so early was actually really bad. There's the cannonade. That, I really hope, is into the Rillaboom. It's into the Celesteela, yeah. I don't think I, w I, don't think I win this one now. So they're going to Parting Shot. And they likely have Water Spout, so even though I have to Dynamax my Colossal, <laughs> I'm probably not taking this. Especially with the uh, residual damage from the Cannonade. My play here is going to be to taunt the Ndidi and go for this uh, Max Overgrowth. They likely Helping Hand is the issue. Is there a turn of cannonade still? Ah, uh, yeah, there's still one turn of cannonade. I'm just going to go for it. And hope that somehow I love this. Yeah. Actually, I guess a vocalist would do it anyways. All right. Follow me. Do I tank whatever this uh, <laughs> this guy is going to go for? Nope, I do not. Good game. Critical hit on the Rillaboom. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I guess my main regret there was not Dynamaxing the Zerka Tree. I was hoping they'd get greedy and go for the Shell Smash. 
Because Zerkachu would have 100% taken that hit. And there's the win. Let's get one more. I'm going to really try to get the Zerka tree going. Because last night I was using it and it was going insane. I want it to go insane again on video. All right. As our rating tanks. See what we got here. 1403. And yeah, no, this is actually a halfway decent Zerkatry game. So I think I'm gonna just lead off with it. I can go uh Zerk Pult and Rillaboom in the back. I think my last mon pretty much has to be Celesteela here. Zerk Pult doesn't look too bad. I can burn the uh, Landorus on lead if need be, uh, and I don't immediately burn my my seed then. All right. going to be an Urshifu water. So, hmm. I actually feel comfortable just going for the Gleam and the Will-O-Wisp. Actually, maybe here I can just go Rillaboom. And Wisp this thing now. If first few water switches out, it's completely fine, because I'm probably just going to catch a burn on the Lando. So they tailwind up. I'm going to assume they surging striked. Maybe even you turned. They just surging strikes. Shouldn't do too much, and now I'm in a pretty good position. Granted, I land this burn. As we whiff the burn. Okay, that's not great. Um, I still feel comfortable going for it, though. I'm going to fake out into this and uh, attempt it a second time. Because they can detect or whatever, but at the very least, they have a lot of pressure on that on that uh, Urshavu slot right now. So they withdraw. Who am I going to catch this burn on? The Rotom. That's fine. That's fine. I at least get good damage here. Now they're now they're kind of in the driver's seat. They're kind of in the driver's seat now. I'm trying to think of how I can take this back. Ooh, this is not looking good. Hmm. I might be able to prevent I'm gonna pretty much sack my Rillaboom here, but I might be able to prevent a uh I might be able to prevent a nasty plot. I really don't want Zerk to take that damage. I'm going to pretty much sack the Celesteela. <laughs> I, I expect a Moonblast, but I'm going to get in the Celesteela here, and I'm going to try to prevent a nasty plot. My goal here is if they overheat the Rillaboom, it's fine because I get in the Zerka tree. Yeah, 
They Thunderbolt. That is somewhat okay. That's somewhat okay. Because I really want to get this Calm Mind off with the Zerk and then just go, go in on the team. Alright. Uh, we're sacking the Celesteel here. I'm going to get in my Dragapult. I can attempt a Meteor Beam. Because uh, this Urshfu is going to be really important. The moon blast. Yep. There's the overheat. Awesome. No, oh, that's actually great. Because they can't actually go for a nasty plot this turn. What I can do is calm mind up with my Zerka tree and get back in the Rillaboom. And then I have uh, then I have some fake out pressure next turn, because likely this turn I think they might just switch out and go for another tailwind. I really need the circuitry to snowball this game if I want to win. in the boom as they withdraw awesome who's it gonna be it's Lando awesome now Lando's scary don't get me wrong but but we have a grassy we have a grassy seat up and they're probably just gonna Dynamax it my play here, I think, is always going to be to Grassy Glide and go for a Max Starfall. And if it's not Assault Vest, that actually isn't, like, a terrible idea. <laughs> actually, I think my play is going to be to get back in the Dragapult first. Because Rillaboom is going to be important later on. And if they airstream, this can be doing a ton. In fact, I think if they airstream, they might just lose outright. Because if they airstream into the Dragapult to KO it, uh, Rillaboom comes in and Grassy Glides them for the KO. They have to Quaker if they want to win, I think. There's the helping hand. Probably a quake. Airstream. Awesome. Airstream. That means that they're probably in range of my grassy glide now. Because this is going to do a lot. You know, unless they're assault vest. In which case it won't do as much as I hope. <laughs> okay, it didn't do as much as I hope. <laughs> Not looking great, not looking great, I cannot lie. I think I can still do this, though. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm really defensive. If they helping hand a quake, I think my wood hammer will do it, but I think I just grassy glide anyways. I really hope this works. I'm somewhat tempted to wood hammer. I'm somewhat tempted to wood hammer here. I'm just going to do it, yeah. Helping hand. There's the airstream. Yeah, that didn't work out. I should have I should have grassy glided. think I think I always have to guard here unfortunately yeah I think I end up just losing here I'm really surprised they didn't quake that turn their tailwind's gone I'm not gonna outspeed them unless they're like really really slow and I really wish the terrain was still up. <laughs> if I somehow outspeed him, I think a Gleam might be able to do it. Alright, they didn't Helping Hand, so I might just KO here. Doesn't do too much, but uh, Urshfu in the back is going to cause me troubles. As I just barely miss out on that KO on the landers. Dang, dude, dang. Yeah, and now I can't protect. I just clicked Dazzling Gleam and accept my fate. It's unfortunate I couldn't make the Zergature work on vid. But I will be streaming with this team tonight, so I'll be sure to get some good games with it later. Is they rock slide? Doesn't do too much. But they're gonna KO me with the strikes now. Yeah, uh, I think this game could have gone smoother had I landed that initial burn. But that's just how it is when you use that move. It's whatever. We got one win today. Even though if it was with the Celesteela, I wish we could have done it with the Zergatry, but it's whatever. I'll be streaming tonight at 5 p.m. with this team. Gonna be laddering with it. If you guys enjoyed, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.